Hi, this is Alex with 4 and Half. Uh, we are a social media and internet marketing company for property management. And today we're going to talk about the three very common mistakes even the most experienced salespeople ha uh, make, um, especially if you, if you start talking about a solution sales process. Those are the three things. We're going to talk about three common mistakes and how to avoid them. Now, my sales career goes back to 1994. You know, I started with selling some. Uh, um, uh, uh, things at farmers market and you know go through Radio Shack six years of sales management there then uh, graduated with a computer degree and then went into software sales which is essentially a solution sale process this last four years I spent selling to property management companies so the, here, here are the three things we're going to talk about number one is preparation okay preparation does not necessarily mean you know your your, your, your shirt your, your trim and and, and how you smell, right? Those things are important, but preparation for the sales appointment itself, I think is really key. So, um, a lot of times we put ourselves in a situation where we end up doing a, a presentation on the whim, right? Um, so if the investor comes, uh, gives us a phone call, you know, we try to potentially close the deal right then on the, on, on, on the call, on the, on the phone, where um, the best way to approach this is actually split your sales process into two phases. One is discovery, the other is uh, demonstration or presentation of your solution. So I think doing a first touch uh, with that customer, introducing yourself and actually talking to them about their problems and asking them questions and listening uh, and get going on a kind of an information gathering mode. Uh, and then setting up an appointment to actually present a solution based on the specific problems your customer is experiencing, whether it's you know that be tenants or no tenants at all, or or you know inheritance of a house that they don't know what to do with, whatever the case may be. Now this brings me to the next mistake that people make. Mistake number two is talking, talking through the sales presentation, talking through the discovery call, talking through the whole process. Um, here's the here's the big the, the biggest issue with this particular step happens to be made by folks who are the most experienced who are the best in the industry and because we are we feel that we know that customer issue before we even listen to them we tend to interrupt and assume things and we tend to kind of just show off our knowledge by essentially uh, uh, circumventing that discovery process and going right to the sales presentation that's a big mistake that's a most common mistake experience people make and I want to caution you against this mistake um, the best course of action is to listen ask the right questions and listen to the answers you're gonna get a personal connection with a customer that's gonna be beneficial for years and years to come and I think uh, it's a simple thing to do yet uh, we all tend to forget I, I'm included tend to forget to do this the last thing, thing I want to talk about is actually when you are at that sales call, when you are done with your discovery and you are in a demonstration presentation of your solution, um, you know, talking beyond yes is really not a good idea. So when somebody says yes, or I'll go for it, or show me your contract, or I'm sold, or whatever the case may be, shut up and put the contract right in front of the customer. Immediately after yes, there follows a little bit of a bias remorse, remorse process and it's really easy to talk yourself out of the deal and uh, uh, have basically help your customer surface doubts that don't really exist, right? So when they say yes, remember that move, right? Just put the contract in front of them, sign the contract, and then set up a time to speak uh, about terms, visit the property, whatever the case, uh, whatever your next step is in the process. Anyway, I hope these three uh, mistakes and how to avoid them will help you again. Preparation, meaning with discovery research, speaking after yes or not speaking after yes and lastly listening to your customer uh, and a presented solution based on what you hear not what you think they should say okay so thank you very much for taking the time to look at my video today and I hope to see you again uh, this is Alex of four and a half thank you